Hello everyone, to facilitate learning and knowledge of the software protection plate of the lithium. And then, we did a series of instructional videos, and software protection board accessories. Well, let's take a look at our video catalog, video relevant to the needs of friends, can find the corresponding service personnel to get our instructional, video, what we are going to talk about today is an operation tutorial on our host computer page. Let's first use a short video to get a preliminary understanding of our host computer in. Okay, let's deploy the download method of the host computer software on our computer. First of all, we open our browser, enter our Dolly official website in the browser www. When we enter this page, there is our information at the back of this page. We click on the information. And there is a download area at the end of the information. Here is our daily upper computer download. Through this link, we can download install, and use it. Next, let's explain in detail a specific operation of the upper computer page. Next, let me explain to you our daily upper computer, which is an interpretation of a page after the smart protection board to connect it to the computer. First of all, we can connect to our computer through UART, 485, CAN, etc. Other serial communication. First, we open this software of our daily upper computer. Our upper computer supports two language interfaces, Chinese and English, is the English interface. And our first step is to click on the communication settings. Then we open the program window. Yeah, let's take a look at the main page of the software first. This one is the main page of the software. Cluehat is displayed on the public interface. The main page of the software shows the total voltage of a battery pack and the real-time current. The other is the battery sock, which is a percentage. Let's take a look at the data on the first screen. Here we have the highest voltage and the lowest voltage and the number of strings of the battery as well as the position of the number of strings of the highest voltage, and the position of the number of strings of the lowest voltage, and the maximum temperature and minimum temperature, then, then here is the life value of our BMS, just the beating of BMS, life, it proves that this board is working normal like our pulse. And finally, here, is it a real-time state of our charging and discharging MOS. Here is the remaining capacity of our battery pack. Here, the next one is for our battery pack. What about the next tool? The specific display of a voltage in each string is accurate to the millivolt level. Then let's take a look at the next interface. This interface is our parameter setting. In our software version of the tutorial, we mentioned this protection board. The first step after it is activated is to set the protection board according to the actual battery pack capacity. Just set it here. It's just set the rated capacity here. For example, if our actual battery pack is 50 ampere, then we will write a value of 50 here. And then the battery. The type of battery. The rated voltage of this single cell refers to the type of your battery. Is it ternary or iron lithium? What if it is ternary? Let's set it to 3.7 volt or 3.6 volt. After we enter the data here, click settings. Behind it becomes a green light, which means that our settings here are already setting. Then we look at the following is the total ampere hour for charging, and the total ampere hour for discharging. Then there is no need to set it refers to our protection board. After connecting the battery, it has accumulated a charge and discharge of an in its history. Set there, there is our balanced turn on voltage. Because our protection board has a balance function. Which is a balanced turn on voltage and a balanced turn on voltage difference. 
Then for this battery, the single string voltage must first meet the first condition, that is, the equalized turn on voltage, and then meet the second condition. It will turn on equalization for the string. Open equation. Ok, now let's set up the ternary equalized turn on voltage on our side. We can set it to 4.5 volt to change our equalized voltage difference. We can set it to 50 volt, and then we click to set it. If the light turns green behind, it means that we set it successfully. Follows is an automatic sleep time. Our factory setting 3600 seconds, which is 1 hour. If you want to turn off the sleep function, we only need to set the time to 65535 so that the protection board will not sleep. However, customers can also set according to their actual situation. And the bottom is an overcharge of one of our cell voltages. The cell voltage is too high, the cell voltage is too low, including the total voltage is too low, the total voltage is too high, it refers to overcharge protection. There is also a voltage value for over discharge protection. Here, it is our overcurrent protection, which is our discharge overcurrent protection and an overcurrent value of the charging overcurrent protection. The following words are a protection value on our side where the pressure difference is too large, including ours. It is charging high temperature protection, including this discharge low temperature protection. Discharge high temperature protection. We can all set it, and then look at our next, next screen. Next screen, we are here to read a parameter, parameter reading, is here read the data we just set, but most of it is already set when we leave the factory, but the rated capacity here needs to be set by the customer, what we set just now is TM here, 3.7 volt, right, let's read it now, it's TM here, 3.7 volt, and below us, there is a 1 key reading, 1 key reading, let's click, let's wait a moment. Because there is more information to be read when one piece is read, so it is a little bit slower, and then these parameters set above, all are set by our factory. If it means you have any needs here, you can change it yourself. Then the sleep time is the same as our factory setting. One hour, and then I set it to 60 seconds just to demonstrate. Then our next interface is our engineering mode. The engineering model is the interface that our rent stuff can use only afterward. Then here, we won't do too much explanation. Then, the next interface is the history warning. Here, I can tell you about it. Here, what we can see is our battery in history. After the protection board was installed, what was its violation and what was beyond the behavior. And then there was this, with this storage, we can facilitate our after sales, and then for our after sales, greatly saving time and providing convenience. The last page is an upgraded interface of our BMS software. Later, when the protection board needs to be upgraded, we only need to drag the upgrade package into this box, and click this to start the upgrade. Through continuous updates and iteration. We can provide customers with a more powerful software function. This concludes the introduction of the software version.